Hi everybody, welcome to video number 15, using the reclass tool in ArcMap. In the last video, I showed you how to use conditional statements in Raster Calculator to reclassify the image of the oil spill that we've been working on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing using the reclassification tool in ArcMap. This tool is a lot simpler to use, but it's not quite as powerful or versatile. So I'll quickly review reclassification, and then I'll show you how to use the reclassify tool. So recall that in reclassification, we've basically got a raster with pixel values that spread across a big range. And we want to assign each of these pixels a new value. And that new value will represent its class. Okay. So for example, we might say all the values that fell between 1 and 3 are now going to have a value of 5. All the pixels that had values between 3 and 7 are now going to have a value of 3 in the new reclassified raster. So the idea is to shrink down the number of values, and each value in the new raster will represent a class. In our example, this was a, a raster of ratioed hyperspectral radiance values, and this will be a raster of integers corresponding to a priority level for cleanup. OK, let's go to ArcMap. Here we are. So here's our rasters. We have three ratioed rasters here. High values correspond to thick oil. Low values correspond to thin oil. And we want to reclassify that into a raster that has three categories. High priority for cleanup, medium priority for cleanup, and low priority for cleanup. And we're going to classify just one of these rasters. We're going to pick 7380 to classify. And we already know the criteria. Anything greater than 3 is going to be high priority. Anything between 2.65 and 3 is going to be medium priority. Anything lower than 2.65 is going to be low priority for cleanup. OK, so the reclass tool can be found under Spatial Analyst, right down here under Reclass, and then actually Reclassify. Open this up. Input raster is going to be the 7380. The Reclass field is going to be value. That's our only choice. Now, initially, it's giving me a lot of different choices, depending on how many new values I want to have in my reclassified raster. I only want to have three. So I'm actually going to hold Shift and highlight those, and then hit Delete. Actually, hold on while I enter the intervals. OK, so in my first row, I'm saying all old values of 1 to 2.65 should be assigned to 0. All values 2.66 to 3 should go to 1. 3.6 to 5.16 should go to 2. A word of advice, reclassify is very touchy. You can't have any values that are bigger than the maximum in your raster. You always have to have a space before and after the dash. So you may have to fool around with this a little bit to get it to accept your transformations. But when you think you've got it, hit OK. Cross your fingers. Here comes the reclassified raster. It looks a lot like the ones we made in the last video. You can see that. The value 3 is going to be the highest priority. Value 1 is going to be medium priority. And value 0 is going to be the lowest priority. Not sure how 2 slipped in there, but you get the idea. You've now got a map showing the cleanup priority that you made from your hyperspectral avarice image. So in summary, you learned about reclassification, and you learned how to use the reclassify tool. Please join us for the next video called Will Goes Home and Has a Glass of Wine with His Wife. Have a good night.